Hello everyone, and welcome. So I've been doing some reading. There's still someone else's save peeking in my freighter. I've been doing some reading, and uh, I think... I think we might be able to get some upgrades to get some greater distance out of this freighter. Right? So what's an oxidizer? Last for one expedition. Well, we don't need it for expeditions. What's this? Mind control device. Holographic analyzer. Mineral compressor. These are these are like one-time use things. Or, or resonator we already have. This is really useful. Uh, these would be really useful too. Requires a lot of salvaged frigate modules though. So let's see, this gives you 50 light years, this gives you 300 light years, and then these give you, this gives you 50, this gives you 50, this gives you 800. So this is 300 light years, this is 800, and we can get another 150 out of these three. Now, as you can see, we obviously need an awful lot of uh, whatever these are, salvage, salvage frigate modules. So... I assume you get those from, oh, this also needs cadmium, which we don't have. So, oh, that needs antimatter housing and solar mirror. I don't think I'm going to be making these. Really don't think I'm going to be making them. So I'm going to stick with my ship. Let's take a look at my ship real quick. Where's our hyperdrive? There it is. We have launch thruster, supercharged nozzles, which are for the launch thruster. It's for the launch thruster. Teleport receiver. Okay. And in fact, okay, we have one that increases cell efficiency by 100% and hyperdrive range by 235 light years. If we can get more upgrades for the hyperdrive, we could potentially significantly extend our range and fuel capacity. So that's what we're going to work on. We're going to leave the freighter alone because we're just wasting warp cells. Speaking of warp cells, let me get those out of here. Oops. Wait a minute. What are these? Long range transmitter? Oh, exhibition fuel. Okay. Okay. I doubt I can put this here in the hyperdrives here. I may want the hyperdrive here. So let's get this garbage out of the way. Get this down here. Slime, seriously. Okay, so stick all of this stuff down here. Now the hyperdrive will go here, and the whatever the hell this thing is for the hyperdrive will go there. This I don't think matters at all. for the pulse engine. Yeah, I really don't think this stacks with anything. So it can just stay there because I don't care. Put the launch thruster up there. Free some room. Okay. So I'm just going to put some upgrades for the hyperdrive here. So the first place we need to go... Does it look like everything's leaning to the right? Oh, my ship's over here. Let's not be stupid now. Oh, actually, while I'm thinking about it, SMAA in Reshade does nothing whatsoever. So I am going to... Actually, we should be on this one because this one allows us to use our mouse and keyboard. Or not. 
something's preventing us from moving the mouse. While VR is open. That's lovely. I really needed my mouse. Can I at least use this? I can. Okay. Where's my tab key? So because something wants to lock my mouse in place... See, unfortunately I can't... Oh, there we go. SMAA is off now. Alright, yeah. The only one I need is the VR image sharpening and color adjustment. That's the only one that actually works in VR. Alright. It's kind of a while I'm thinking about it kind of thing there. Alright. What was that? No idea. I could probably enable the game's in-game um, anti-aliasing now. It's terrible though. It's 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 blurry garbage. Um, they've got TAA, which is temporal anti-aliasing, and they've got FXAA, which is fact fast approximate anti-aliasing and then they've got the both of them combined together and uh, both of them are really blurry so let's take a look at the visuals yeah you can see everything got blurred out it looks horrible why do video game developers do this smaa it's great it doesn't blur things out like this and it has low gpu usage Right, we'll try just FXAA. It is probably just as blurry, though. Yeah, it looks like it. This is why I usually just don't use anti-aliasing in these games at all anymore. Because they put the world's worst anti-aliasing in them. Okay. That... Is that any better? Maybe a little bit. Fast approximate anti-aliasing can be more blurry than temporal anti-aliasing. The only way to know for sure is to compare it to no anti-aliasing. Which is a little sharper, but not significantly. So let's try temporal for a little while. I think it will be okay. We might be able to strengthen the sharpening that we're doing. Can I get uh, reshade open? All right. I've got the sharpening at 0 0.5. Oh, there we go. So if I take it to 1.0. How does that look? Sometimes that much sharpening can be unfortunate. It's hard to tell because I don't have anything really good to look at, just the side of my ship. Let's take a look over here. Not too bad. I'm not seeing the usual kind of issues that over sharpening causes. But it might be apparent in the video, even though it's not apparent to me in game. So let's try dropping it back down. This would be great if I could do it faster, you know? It's at 0 0.8. That's close enough. You know, I think it's actually fine at 1.0. easier to just click and drag. Okay. Wait, it's not all the way up. Okay. We'll try it like that. I am still seeing some blurring, which is probably why I'm not seeing over sharpening. But that's enough screwing around. I hope that's high enough. Uh, 
Ah, uh, just barely. Hello, Normandy. And some massive fleet of freighters. I mean, look at this thing here. It's huge. I've never seen this particular freighter before either. Doesn't look like I can buy it. Of course, if you can buy it, it usually has some kind of icon that says you can land on it. I just realized these freighters are really blurry. Well, I probably shouldn't be this concerned with freighters. Yeah, I'm just going to turn that horrible anti-aliasing back off. <laughs> Put my sharpening back at uh, 0 0.5. Problem is, this controller isn't holding still enough. It's so difficult to pull this trigger and the controller actually stays still. Can I left click with one of the buttons? I don't think I can. There we go. Okay. It's unfortunate how difficult it can be to use certain controls from within VR. Just horrible anti air. Why did they do that? Looks so much clearer. I didn't think this ship was straight. Let's try to re-straighten it. Are you so off to the side? Is my headset not on right? Because it straightens based on which direction the uh, or recenters. What I'm doing is I'm recentering, and it recenters based on which direction the headset is aiming. That's better. Okay, let's go. Yeah, look at that much better. I mean, you have the, the aliasing, which sucks. But I'd rather look at aliasing than blur. Blur drives me crazy. And every game developer these days just wants to blur everything out. And I don't understand. Why, why have high quality graphics in a game if you're just going to blur it out? I mean, the game could look like garbage and no one would know. Ooh. That is an S-Class ship. Is that a player's ship? Where'd it go? That's funny, I docked. I don't think that even helps. I don't see an NPC here, so this must be a player's ship. There is a player here. Wait a minute. I shouldn't be here. I need to be on the anomaly. That is where we buy our main hyperdrive upgrades. I mean, yes, you can get some sometimes from uh, stations, but the main ones, the, the good ones, those you get from the anomaly. Um, not, uh, on the, wasn't on the stick. Somehow I missed grabbing it. At least it's working reasonably well today. So far. You know, we haven't got stuck trying to fly into a, a station or whatnot. Not having a bunch of graphical hitches and whatnot. Everybody has one of these. Gee, I wonder where they got them from. Okay, I think the fastest way into the upgrade area is back here. Now, I didn't do a whole lot of digging for buried technology or whatever they call it. So, I probably won't have enough to buy anything. 
fact, what little bit I had, I think I've already spent. And I really shouldn't have, because I have not been building stuff. I should have saved it. But I never thought, oh hey, go get hyperdrive upgrades for your ship. Okay, ship. This is the ship. Yeah, Starship Research. On Earth. All right, hyperdrive, hyperdrive. Okay, this one gets us instant hyperdrive scramble. It allows an instantaneous warp even when conventional systems are blocked by Starship combat. Access to the emergency warp system. Oh, this is emergency warp. Cadmium drive. Um, allows you to access red stellar bodies. This allows green. This allows blue. But none of these allow me to go farther. That's the advantage of the freighter right now. It can work to anything. This requires 240. Oh, nanites. Yes, that's nice. We have over 7,000 nanites. I thought I needed uh, something else to buy this stuff. Okay. Economy scanner. Upgrade to the Starship's galactic scale sensors. This device allows the user to access detailed economic data about a system without having to visit it. This is a conflict scanner. Instability drive. Highly advanced upgrade for the pulse engine, vastly increasing fuel efficiency. Sublight amplifier, again for the pulse engine. Be nice if you had those for the warp drive. It's funny, we have a phaser beam. Here's an upgrade for it. Or well, here's, here's the base phaser beam and an upgrade for it. Improve seat performance. We actually could use that. These are just for the launch thrusters. It would be nice to make them more efficient. Honestly, I can afford it. Oh, technology already known. Might as well. Blade of Armor. That's a nice one, but I think it needs recharging. It's not that expensive, though. Okay, did I not already buy these? Okay. So we have purchased all of the upgrades that we really need. That's for the Photon Cannon. What's this again? Sublight amplifiers for the pulse engine. We've got plenty of nanites. We'll buy it. Make everything more efficient. All right. <laughs> nice. All right, Starship. Okay, so where is the one for the... You know what? Let's let's worry about the pulse engine first. So which are the ones for the pulse engine? Hyperdrive, launch thrusters. Okay, these are the ones for the pulse engine. I do have some chromatic metal. I definitely have that and that. Move that out of the way. Okay, are you for the launch thruster? No. Yes. So there was more than one for the launch thruster, right? No. Right, I have neither of those. 
can make some antimatter theoretically. Oops. Better be able to make it. All right, I need one more thing for that. And if I move you up here, I should be able to make the phaser upgrade. I did buy a phaser upgrade, didn't I? Doesn't actually look like I did. Oh, I bet I already had it. Yeah, but this is it. Okay. What is it? Oh, that's the phase beam itself. Okay. Should probably get rid of some of the low quality upgrades. Okay, I've got three systems that need extra stuff. I'm going to end up going to a lot of stations to get it. Now. We need to install these. Nice. Gold, microchips, and warp cells. Very nice. And neither of those, of course. We do have cadmium. Don't have either of those. We have one wiring loom. And another wiring loom, apparently. I don't know where I'm going to get a walker brain from. Can I make microprocessors? this. Creature pellets. Okay, no I can't. So we need to get to a station. Start buying stuff. Did somebody give me oxygen? That would be weird if they did. We need to stick as many S-Class upgrades on this thing's hyperdrive as we can. 